Hello, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of February the 16th up until February the 23rd. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Pisces. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Pisces. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my Pisces are here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Pisces this week? Always remember that energies are fluid. So take it as it resonates if I'm not talking about you. It's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember, this can be for your sun, your moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out. And remember, you can reverse the energies if you feel they fit better that way. All right, Pisces, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, wow, the Five of Swords in the reverse. So there's this energy where someone here is giving up on something that they kind of felt like they had to do in order to get back at someone. I feel like it might be your person. It's like somebody here is dropping their guard. They're dropping they're dropping something that they kind of thought that, you know, there's this, this energy where I'm picking up on perhaps you cut off some kind of toxicity, even just by sometimes not texting this person back, not um, involving yourself or engaging in drama is, is cutting off toxicity. That's a form of you cutting off toxicity. Okay. Just by, again, not engaging in a person's drama or in a person trying to reel you into their own drama, just by doing this Pisces, I feel like your person at some point they kind of felt like, oh my God, why is Pisces not paying attention to me? Right? So I'm picking up on this energy where they're kind of letting that go. Okay. They're letting that go because they feel this energy where they're emotionally burning out. They're emotionally burn burning out. It has become too much for this person, whoever this person is. Okay. And they're kind of letting that go. So if you were kind of afraid that this person was going to try to like, I don't know, like get you back for something, I feel like they're no longer going to do that. I do sense that at first this has been, or was sort of like an empty victory, you know, where like, um, it's like it's kind of like this person was very argumentative or you know this person is very prideful they always like to win you know arguments or whatever the case may be and Pisces I feel like recently you kind of made a decision where you just kind of like took a deep breath and you were like you know what it's fine it's fine this person let them believe whatever they want to believe if they want to think that they won whatever the case may be this could possibly be with a family member with a friend with co-workers whatever the situation that you are dealing with and you just kind of like let it go you know and this person was a little bit in shock. So I do sense that this person is kind of dropping their guard. They're no longer, you know, wanting to, yeah, they want to compromise. Somebody here wants to come in and compromise with you. Again, some of you guys, this might be work related. Okay. Uh, let's see some of you guys. Wow. Look at that. The lover. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Gemini. I see any of the earth signs. I also see, uh, what else do we have here? Any of the air signs? What else? Fire signs, Aquarius showing up in your reading. Yeah. So there is hope for something new here okay I feel here that there is hope for something new. now there's also this energy where one of you guys was too focused on security whether it's you maybe you were kind of like I'm um, approaching the situation on um okay you just want to be secure or maybe this person was too focused on security but somebody here was too focused on wanting to secure something first wanting to know that everything is per picture perfect before before making a move, before saying anything, okay? So there's this kind of energy where, you know, um, maybe some of you guys were dealing with a person who is a little bit opportunistic, okay? And so, like, um, it was kind of like they were being a little unrealistic, okay? A little bit immature, a little bit childish, and um, less lighthearted energy. It's sort of like, I feel like very heavy energy is something that you were dealing with, okay? But I feel here that this person just needed to take some time off to heal, to really think things through, okay? So I do sense that you are the one who back Backed off or somebody here backed off okay but there is a lot of love or a lot of chemistry or, or a lot of potential in this connection in this situation again if it's work 
related, then there is potential for you to either go back and, you know, kind of work things out. This person does want you to come back to work or they do want you to come back into the connection, whatever connection this has to do with. But you know what? I do sense here that right now you're not sure. You're not sure how to tread because I feel like you're, you've never really um, embraced this part of this person or this person has never seen this side of you, whatever the case may be. But it's asking you to explore Pisces, okay? See how this woman here is kind of like stuck? She's, she's not really stuck. I mean, she has a bunch of swords all around her. She has eight swords all around her. She could just simply grab one of these swords, cut off that blindfold, cut off all of these wires, and and guess what? She's free. So you're free to liberate yourself from whatever restrictions you feel that you have um, upon you or have been placed upon you. It's just about you looking and seeing the situation in a brand new light. Now, it's as simple as like you, you know, maybe you were in, in a connection, in a relationship, and now being single is kind of foreign to you or the opposite. Maybe you guys were single or have been single for a while and now, you know, a new person is approaching you because there is a brand new beginning here, okay, with somebody here being represented as either an empress or an emperor, okay? So there is an opportunity here where you're going to start meeting mature people, but I feel that maybe you guys have been dating a lot of young people or a lot of people that have not been ready for for commitments. And so, um, you know, just kind of like exploring something new, it's kind of like going to a different country country, right? For you guys. So this might be a little bit foreign to you, or maybe this energy might be a little bit foreign to you because you're so used to dealing with these type of energies. Like here, the King of Pentacles, it's like people who don't believe in themselves. And so you kind of did not know why you kept attracting this type of people into your life. But now I feel like you're becoming a little bit more aware of your own vibration, of your own energy. And you are starting to ask yourself, you know what? I want something for my future. I want something long-term. Um, I feel like Pisces, you're now kind of like asking yourself where you're kind of like starting to notice how these people who don't have or the, that lack the belief in themselves, you know, just wanted to take from your energy. Energy. You know, it's kind of like um, energy vampires. It's, ca it's called, uh, a lot of people say that, you know, you attract a lot of energy vampires at some point in your life when perhaps you went through a breakup, you know, and you needed some support or maybe uh, you weren't feeling too well, right? And so you kind of like attract these people into your life, right? Because these people like to feed off of your potential. They know that the potential, the light is within you. So I feel like now you're really thinking about, about uh, situations or how to approach certain people or certain vibrations before you actually jump fully in but I don't see that your heart is closed at all I actually see that you are ready for new love you are ready to explore new ventures now let's go ahead and see what this five of swords is here what is this five of swords in the reverse for Pisces yeah, so again, you've already finished something and you're ready for brand new ventures. You are ready to learn about new things. You're ready to learn about new people. So just be patient with yourself, okay, Pisces? Be patient with the process. If this is a brand new job that you are that you are currently embracing or bringing into your reality, then embrace the fact that you are going, it's going to take time, basically. It's going to take time. Don't pressure yourself. Don't hurry yourself, okay? And I also sense that you are no longer going to attract these type of personalities because I feel here that they're they've been left in the past okay now as long as you embrace something new as long as you start seeing the situation um a little bit more from a different angle I feel like uh, you're going to start kind of like renewing this energy within yourself of of opportunity and of abundance and also of inspiration. If you've been kind of like maybe if you guys are are in the arts, right? Uh, maybe you guys have had like um, artists block or something. I feel like uh, if you approach the situation in a different way, that block, okay, whatever block you've been feeling is going to is going to be released. Okay, you're going to release that blockage and you're going to start embracing brand new ideas it's like starting to brainstorm once again for something brand new okay and if this is to do if it excuse me if this has to do with a connection or a relationship i feel here that you want to take the time before you jump in you are very excited i see that you're ready to communicate you're ready to be vulnerable not to be you know not to be like um 
um, innocent. No, like to be vulnerable as far as like opening up your hearts, telling people what you truly feel and, um, and telling people what you truly desire for your connection. So I do see that you are embracing this brand new opportunity with a brand new open heart because I feel like you have already cut off all toxicity. See here with the world card, you've already learned the lessons. You've already learned everything that you needed from the past. Now I do sense that this person from the past who doesn't believe in themselves, they just kind of like feel a lot of pressure right now. Um, that's why perhaps they have not communicated. And there's also kind of like this energy where this person may have lied because they were just emotionally unavailable, even though they told you otherwise. But I do feel that this person um, has a little bit of blocked emotions. They have a little bit of, uh, you know, of kind of like a twisted growth, you know, kind of like when you put a lid on on um, a plant that you're trying to grow, you know, it doesn't grow the way that it's supposed to, it kind of grows in a kind of twisted way. So I feel like this person has been self-sabotaging in a way, has been doing this to themselves, but you have brand new energy here, again, in the form of either a new job, maybe a new venture, or it could, could possibly be a new connection or a brand new friendship. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week. What do my guides and angels have for Pisces this week? What do my guides and angels have for Pisces? What do we have here? Creative writing. What did I tell you? Some of you guys who are, you know, just in the creative field, again, if you guys were experiencing writer's block or maybe you guys didn't know how to approach this brand new project, you have to approach it in a brand new way. So look at it differently and I feel like you guys will open the floodgates of ideas. Okay, so here we have confirmation for any of you guys who need it. Creative writing, Archangel Gabriel. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen and article book. This also has to do with manifestation. Bring out your notebook, okay, your notepad, and start manifesting. Start writing down a list of all of your desires, wishes, and hopes, and dreams that you want for 2021. All right, what else do we have for Pisces? Let your past go. Yeah, so some of you guys just wanted confirmation, you know, before you embrace this brand new either um, opportunity, person, whatever place thing, you know, that's coming your way here with the Empress, let your past go. The burden of carrying your past around Pisces has made you weary, dear one. It is time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it is now gone. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading, my beautiful Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. This is what I have for you this week. If you are in interested in a personal reading, please do check the description box below as I now have openings and follow my new Instagram page at Gina G official as I will be posting more on there. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.